Have you ever been scrolling through photo sharing sites, seen an outfit you liked, and wanted to know where to find one just like it? Or perhaps you were out shopping and saw something you loved on a mannequin, and you wanted to know where to find it. With the power of generative AI, Datastax Astra DB, and Google Vertex AI models, we can now help you do just that. Oh, and it's called the Fashion Buddy. Fashion, me AI. Hi, I'm Melissa Herrera from Datastax, a company focused on helping developers turn their dreams into wild new realities through generative AI. We're here to help you create apps and experiences that you can quickly get into production and deliver real-time data, high performance, and accurate responses to your RAG applications. We offer a one-stop generative AI stack with everything needed for a faster and easier path to production for relevant and responsive Gen AI apps. Datastax delivers a RAG-first or Retrieval Augmented Generation developer experience with first-in-class integrations with leading AI ecosystem partners. So we just work with developers' existing stacks of choice. With Datastax, anyone can quickly build smart, high-growth AI applications at an unlimited scale on any cloud. Hundreds of the world's leading enterprises, including Audi, Bud Financial, Capital One, SkyPoint Cloud, and many more rely on Datastax. And we make this all possible with AstraDB our powerful real-time AI platform and vector store. At Datastax, we help developers create relevant Gen AI apps with fewer hallucinations and lower latency, making it easier for devs to build relevancy into their apps. And we deliver a fast path to production by offering a stack with scalable tools and expertise. Through our one-stop generative AI stack for developers, we make it easier to get the wild things you want to get done, done. We also create and provide demo apps for our developers that address real-world situations. These demos are able to leverage and pair well with models such as Google's Gemini ProVision model. The Gemini ProVision model took the developer community by storm with its ability to recognize, understand, and interpret images beyond what existing models were capable of. With this model, users are able to provide it with any image, and Gemini will generate a literal textual description of what's being depicted. So when we think about what we can use vision models for, the possibilities are truly endless. And as developers, we can leverage these incredible capabilities for a multitude of use cases. For example, I can't help but think of an app I've dreamt about since I was younger. An app that I believe would help out a lot of people specifically the tens of millions of consumers like myself who are into retail and fashion. People like us spend a lot of time scrolling online or going through photo sharing apps to post our outfits. Or perhaps we're out shopping for the next trend and trying to find a piece that we'd like to add to our closets. Or maybe I'm even flipping through a fashion magazine for inspiration. Now imagine you had an app that allowed you to upload or snap a photo of an outfit or piece of clothing you like, and it would quickly return recommendations of similar products and where you could buy them from right away. Actually, you don't have to imagine. We already built it, and we call it Fashion Buddy. Fashion Buddy takes users' uploaded photos, searches back to our dataset of existing clothing and apparel items, and then returns the best recommendations to them in real time. And it's all powered by AstraDB and Google's models. Google Vertex AI has powerful embeddings models that are able to vectorize data, which can then be stored within AstraDB for future retrieval. Additionally, along with their embeddings models, Google has their Google Gemini Pro Vision model. This is an LLM that can interpret and understand images intuitively. So how is this being done, you ask? Just like this. There are a few components here to think about. First, we have Gemini ProVision interpreting the image and describing what it sees in the photo. Next, we vectorize the description, store it into AstraDB, and then do the same process when the user takes a photo and uploads it to the app. To get a better understanding of what's really going on here, let's see Fashion Buddy in action. So here's Fashion Buddy. This is our landing page, as you could see, powered by Datastax and AstraDB. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, let's go ahead and upload a photo of whatever outfit or style that you're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and take one from my file. 
Let's do this outfit here. So we see we have a striped sweater, some jeans, some loafers, a handbag. Now I'm going to hit find products. So what's happening here is that I've just uploaded the image. The description of the image is then being generated and that description is then being vectorized. And as you can see, we've got some results back for the, uh, for the photo that I've just uploaded. We have the same striped sweater, maybe something similar to the style or kind of genre of outfit that this person was going for. Some blazers, some jeans, things like that. Um, another cool feature here is that I can filter the results. So if I want to make it specific to a gender, a specific category, I can do that as well. Additional filters can be added in the future as well. So let's say I select women and perhaps tops and outerwear, and then I'll apply these filters. So now what's happening here is alongside the vector embedding, it's also passing through the filters and sending that to our database to tailor the response. Now we, you see we get slightly different responses. We still get the striped sweater since it's pretty similar to the outfit we are trying to recreate, but we also get jeans. We also get, um, we also get longer tops, V-neck tops, things that are very similar to the outfit. But hey, let's try choosing a new outfit and actually taking a photo of what I'm wearing today. So I can open the camera. Let's do this. Now we have a photo of myself and I'm going to click find products. And again, I've just taken a photo in real time. It's now vector, it's now generating the description of the picture and then embedding that description. So we have a cute loading screen here as well. So now we have some similar blazers to what I'm also wearing. And again, more business casual types of clothing. So it also recommends things that are similar to the vibe of the photo, but specifically to the main point of the photo, which was the blazer. Now that we've seen Fashion Buddy in action, let's return to the architecture diagram from earlier and take a look at how all of this is really working under the hood. As I mentioned previously, we're ingesting our data into AstroDB. But before we do this, we need to pull the descriptions of each item and generate embeddings based off of those descriptions. Gemini Provision is able to take an image and any prompt that you give it. This prompt then tells the model how or what it should be focusing on in the image. In this case, we prompted it by saying, describe the article of the clothing in the image, ignoring any other aspect of the photo and background. Our dataset also provides us with categories for each item, tops, bottoms, shoes, etc. So we also send this information with the prompt to direct the model to what it should be describing. We save this description along with the details of the product already from the dataset into the LLM. We then send this generated response to the multimodal embeddings model to generate the vector embeddings. Then once this is completed, we store it back into Astra. On the user side, the same thing is being done when they upload or take a photo. The image is interpreted by the Gemini provision model and the description is then vectorized. Now here's the awesome part and where AstroDB ties all of these pieces together. We take the user's vectorized request, the image that they uploaded, and perform a vector query on our Astro database to the existing data set that we had previously vectorized and ingested. We can then tell Astra to give us the top K responses back to the user and display that in our app. The real magic here is just how easily all of these technologies come together. It's really awesome how AstroDB is able to integrate with Google's models, store the responses in our database, and perform accurate similarity searches to address generative AI use cases like Fashion Buddy that we could have only imagined a few short years ago. Developers who choose AstroDB as their vector database of choice can leverage all the powers and capabilities of Google's models with confidence that they can access their data in real time with the most accurate responses and the least hallucinations. Google and DataStax have had a fantastic partnership over the past few years through the Cloud Marketplace program. With this partnership, we've been able to build solid relationships with our own clients and meet them where they are by integrating the technologies that they're already using. 
And we continue to do so with the seamless integration of Google's AI models, including the multimodal embeddings model and Gemini ProVision model that we've showcased today with Fashion Buddy. The multimodal model paired with their Gemini model make it possible for Fashion Buddy to quickly and accurately process photos of clothing in order to query the inventory for similar items. With these tools, developers can take this beyond the use cases of Fashion Buddy by building and improving on it, while also applying the same high-level architecture to different use cases. And the best part is knowing that with data stacks, you have a reliable tech stack to begin with. Thank you, Google, for this opportunity, and we're really looking forward to continuing our partnership with you in the future.